Hello guys and welcome to first lesson about RabbitMQ. In the previous video we talked about Apache Camel and connection to the RabbitMQ, so I decided today to talk about uh, RabbitMQ itself. I created some diagram here so you can check what we will what we'll do today. So we'll cre create an exchange, uh, two bindings for the two queues, with routing keys and without routing keys. So yeah, it's basically Elon Musk exchange, Tesla Q binding and Tesla Q, SpaceX binding and SpaceX Q without routing keys and with routing keys uh, bindings for Elon Musk exchange, SpaceX bindings and RabbitMQ with Tesla routing key here and SpaceX routing key here. Okay, so uh, here is the initial script which we'll use to uh, define uh, these uh, queues bindings and exchanges. So uh, before you start uh, you have to install RabbitMQ and RabbitMQ admin which you can find on the Google. It's pretty easy to install both of these and to enable dashboard which looks like this. Okay this is overview, messages total node and many many more info here basically we're gonna use this to these two uh, tabs here so we want to list all exchange so these are some basic exchange that we will uh, which are pre predefined when we install RabbitMQ Uh, these here are so there is no queues and there should be no bindings either okay so for start let's define let's declare exchange it says exchange declared and we can see in the GUI that we have Elon Musk exchange created <coughs> so uh, let's declare queues Tesla Q, SpaceX Q, and okay, we will not do bindings with routing uh, with routing key. Yes, so so basically, we're going to declare binding source will be from Elon Musk Exchange destination, which will where the message will be sent will be Tesla Q, and routing key in order to message to arrive to the destination will be Tesla. Same applies for the SpaceX here. So, um, we'll do this also. Okay, now we have everything prepared. As you can see here, there are two bindings, SpaceX with routing key SpaceX, Tesla with routing key uh, Tesla, and two queues. So, in order to test this, when we um, or you, we don't need that. When we publish a message with routing key SpaceX and SpaceX payload here, we could expect in the queue tabs here. Um, let's just refresh the page to have one message here, and when we get that message. That message uh, will be SpaceX payload. Yeah, that's it. So mm, let's do the same for Tesla. Tesla and payload will be Tesla. Okay, refresh. We have me one message here also. If we get the first message, Tesla. So yeah, this is the basic example of um, with the routing keys. So uh, if you want to, uh, just note, if you want to use the routing keys, you need to set type of exchange to direct. But if you want to use the, um, to propagate one message to multiple queues at once, you should use fan out, which will, we will do that now. Fan out and delete. Delete Q and exchanges. 
accused can stay. They don't have any binding, I think, so yeah. Okay, exchange declared and bindings are without routing key. Okay. Okay, then mask exchange, SpaceX routing key is empty. So when we publish message, published message payload. Okay, message published and we should have Okay, two messages. So everyone, every queue here got the same message, message published. So if we get here and get second message, oh, no. Oh, yeah, here is published message. So yeah, that would be it for this first tutorial about RabbitMQ. Stay safe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.